Easier. Sly Stone from Sly and a Family Stone. Hey, man, how you doing? I'm doing okay, yeah. I guess I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel your influence on the, on music and on people that are out there? Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> sure does feel good. I heard something about you after you after you started hitting it and you came down here from the Bay Area, that you moved into a mansion in Bel Air. Seven eighty three. And, Bel Air Road. <laughs> that's right. And, a, yeah. and across the street from that mansion was another mansion. Beverly was, Hillbillies. That was the Beverly Hillbillies mansion. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen everybody there. See Ellie Mae? I, I don't know the difference. But at, the time, <laughs> at, the, at, the, at the time, they all looked alike. <laughs> well, Griffin told on me one night. There were people that would jump over the fence and it'd have fun. And, you know, it was just too much fun. Nobody worked. They didn't, they didn't think people worked. I, I was pl playing music. And, and it, it, you know, it disturbed Merv, and he told on me, he said, they're over there and they're popping uh, those things and those <laughs> amble nitrates and they're, they're all so kinds of stuff. He told on you. Yeah, so he Merv told Griffin them. ratted but, but out. Yeah, but Merv, Merv, Merv is a snitch. Uh, but but Merv's <laughs> gone now, so all grudges are off, right? After oh, no, death, I, never had a grudge. Off. I never had a grudge. Good. I always knew he was a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. Did you really record Family Affair in a Winnebago? In a Winnebago and also an attic at 783 Bel Air Road. What and, were you driving around in a Winnebago recording that album? What was that all about? Because you got a ticket when when God gives it feeling, when you get that feeling, yeah. you better do it then. Yeah. Because that's all, that's all I can do, man. I'm just a messenger. I don't think of nothing. I just will tell. I'll snitch on God. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man, I because, do. you know, when, when you guys brought the Sly and the Family Stone together, it was, it was multiracial, it had men and women in it, but... Uh, were you, you know, it was like a fusion group. That's when we had the dream of fusion, man. That everything was going to come together. Everything well, it's got to be like that again. You know what? Yeah. I believe that if we had, if, if I could, do, if I could just get access to any any enemy of ours, uh, a couple of people from that country, mm -hmm. and us, and then let me just get them together and we make music together. Yeah. It would affect somehow. I know it would. It's yeah. hard to get mad and want to kill somebody who you're harmonizing with. That's true. Wow. You know what I mean? Good point. I think we I have a plan that. here. You played I Want to Take You Higher at Woodstock. Was that like at 3 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Or four or five. Yeah. I don't know. It was just the biggest gig that we could ever get to. Wow. And I thought, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to try it as best we can. Yeah. And the people oh, could feel it. it. And you know what? Oh, oh, one more thing. Yeah, go ahead. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Yeah, yeah. And all the hip hoppers and anybody doing records now. Yeah. Look, I was underground a long time because I was encouraged to do that because I was told, we can do this. We're going to be a mystique. And when you come in, you know, everybody's going, ah. Right. Listen, man, I got tired of being underground. You stay underground too long, you got to stay underground. Mm -hmm. You don't get no chance above ground. Right. I'm getting older now. So that underground thing. If the hip hoppers need me for something to do with they like me, I'm down. They want me to play something, if they like anything about me, just call me. They ain't got to sample the kid. I'm coming in person. As a matter of fact, I as, as, as a matter of fact, I named myself because I believe that hip hop and pop music will never go away. Yeah. But pop music will never go away. If people think that hip hop is gonna take over, it cannot take over. Yeah. But it can join pop music. Right. And that's why I call yeah. myself now Hip Pop. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Sly. Yeah, Sly Stone and Sly and the Family Stone. We love you, man. Thanks for coming in today. K Earth 101.